Regulation You may have seen the preparation of an ice ball. First, an ice slab is shredded and then the shredded ice is pressurized around the tip of a stick to prepare the ice ball. How does the shredded ice convert into solid ice ball? If two small pieces of ice are taken and pressed against each other for a while, they stick to each other. Why does this happen? Answer. Because of the regulation process, the processes happens like shredded ice conversion into solid ice ball. Small pieces of ice stick to each other when they are pressed against each other for a while. The phenomenon in which the ice converts to liquid due to applied pressure and then reconverts to ice once the pressure is removed is called regulation. Try this. Take a small slab of ice, a thin wire, two identical weights. Activity Put a slab of ice on a stand as shown above. Hang two equal weights to the two ends of a metal wire and put the wire on the slab as shown in the figure. What do you observe? It is observed that the wire gradually penetrates the ice slab. After some time, the wire comes out of the lower surface of the ice slab. However, the ice slab does not break. The phenomenon in which the ice converts to liquid due to applied pressure and then reconverts to ice once the pressure is removed is called regulation. The melting point of ice becomes lower than 0 degree Celsius due to pressure. This means that at 0 degree Celsius, the ice gets converted into water. As soon as the pressure is removed, the melting point is restored to 0 degree Celsius and water gets converted into ice again. Use your brain power. In the above experiment, the wire moves through the ice slab. However, the ice slab does not break. Why? Answer. In the above experiment, the wire moves through the ice slab. However, the ice slab does not break because when the thin wire with two equal weights attached to its ends is hung over the block of ice, it exerts pressure on the ice below it. Due to this, the melting point of the ice below the wire is lowered and some ice melts. The wire passes through the water so formed. The water above the wire is no longer under pressure and therefore refreezes. Once again, the ice below the wire melts and the wire passes through it and the process continues. In this way, due to alternate melting of ice and refreezing of water, the wire cuts right through the block of ice, leaving the block intact. Is there any relationship of latent heat with the regulation? Answer. Relationship of latent heat with the regulation is as follows. When ice melts, heat is absorbed, but the temperature does not change. Also, when water freezes, heat is given out, but the temperature does not change. This heat absorbed or given out is the latent heat. You know that as we go higher than the sea level, the boiling point of water decreases. What would be the effect on the melting point of solid? Answer. As we go higher than the sea level, the pressure on substances decrease. Due to decrease in pressure, the boiling point of water decreases, but melting point of ice increases. But the melting point of most of the substances increases by increasing the pressure. Can you tell? We feel that some objects are cold and some are hot. Is this feeling related in some way to our body temperature? Answer. We feel that some objects are cold and some are hot. This feeling is related to our body temperature in the following way. If the temperature of the object is lower than our body temperature, example, ice, we feel the object is cold. If the temperature of the object is higher than our body temperature, example, hot water, 
वी फील द ऑब्जेक्ट इज हॉट 